Hi, this is Christian, and welcome to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, Super Bowl 50 recap. It was the Denver Broncos suffocating defense leading them to a 24-10 victory over the Carolina Panthers as the Broncos captured their third Lombardi Trophy. The Panthers were the heavy favorites in this one, but it was the Broncos defense that came up clutch as Von Miller had two forced fumbles, one of them which pretty much ended the game after Cam Newton didn't dive on a fumble. The Broncos' TJ Ward recovered and then a little bit later, CJ Anderson ran in for a one-yard touchdown and the Denver Broncos are Super Bowl champions. On the Panthers' side, they did have two pretty good players. Corey Philly Brown made a huge 40-plus yard catch. And Coney Ealy, well, he could have been the MVP if Von Miller didn't have such a great day with his one-handed interception off of Peyton Manning. Both quarterbacks didn't really play that well, but it was the Broncos' defense who stole the show as they win Super Bowl 50. The Super Bowl MVP is Broncos linebacker Von Miller. He was absolutely outstanding against the Carolina Panthers, causing havoc against them all day. He had six tackles, two and a half sacks, and a bit two forced fumbles, which really ended the game there. Well, for our original predictions at the beginning of the year, it didn't work out. Dylan's prediction was the Packers taking on the Ravens, and well, the Ravens had a horrible season with a bunch of injuries, and the Packers, well, they just really couldn't get their feet right just in time for the playoffs. And well, my prediction was the Colts, who didn't even make the playoffs, and the Seahawks, who got eliminated by the Carolina Panthers in the divisional round. What happens when the NFL season ends? You always look to next season, of course. And this segment, surprise, surprise, will show us some teams that could make a run in 2016 and the 2017 season. For the NFC, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Atlanta Falcons, both teams from the NFC South. Now, while the Panthers ruled that division at a 15-1 record, I think with a young quarterback like Jameis Winston and a young operative defense, I think the Buccaneers could make a run with Doug Martin as well with their running game. And for the Falcons, well, they were doing really well until they sputtered at the end of the season, and they really looked like a dominant team for a while and then just fell off. For the AFC, I have the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins, they're kind of like the Falcons. They started off decent and then just kind of fell off. So they need production from their running game all year long and take a little bit of pressure off of Tannehill. Finally, I have the Buffalo Bills, and we already know their dominant defense headed by Rex Ryan, the head coach who is a very good defensive-minded uh, coach. And I think that the Bills, if Tyrod Taylor develops, could develop into a contender. Well, it's way too early to be making predictions for Super Bowl 51, but I will anyway. For the NFC side, my two top contenders are the Seattle Seahawks and the Carolina Panthers, and I think that will be the NFC Championship as it stands right now. And the AFC, well, I'm not really being original, but the New England Patriots, and I'm going to say either the Pittsburgh Steelers or the Denver Broncos. Both those teams could make it back, and it just depends what the Broncos do with their QB situation. Thanks for watching NFL Updates Express all season long. We'll see you back for the NFL Draft.